from the prophet Joel, <laughs> chapter 2. And anybody who's watching the video wondering what's going on, it's because I jump-started the recording, had to stop, start over, after the videographer pushed the button. But just to be a scutch, I waited a couple of seconds after the button was pushed and the recording had started before I began to speak. Now we'll be serious. Briefly. The prophet Joel, chapter 2. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm on my holy hill. Let all who live in the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. It is close at hand. A day of darkness and gloom. A day of clouds and blackness, like dawn spreading across the mountains. A large and mighty army comes, such as never was of old nor ever will be in ages to come. Even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Tear your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, <coughs> slow to anger and abounding in love and he relents from sending calamity. Who knows? He may turn and have pity and leave behind a blessing, grain offerings and drink offerings for the Lord your God. Below the trumpet in Zion, declare a holy fast. Call a sacred assembly. Gather the people. Consecrate the assembly. Bring together the elders Gather the children, those nursing at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her chamber. Let the priests who minister before the Lord weep between the temple porch and the altar. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord. Do not make your inheritance an object of scorn, a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the peoples, where is your God? Here ends the lesson. <laughs>